What's good, nigga? I'm about to kick a freestyle with you on here, man. I'm feeling inspired, dog. I think I'm the best rapper alive now, bro. <laughs> you might be, man. And... <laughs> What's good with you, man? I'm chilling, man. I'm having a good day. Just relaxing. I'm in the studio. I think I'm about to go on this side of the beat. Hey, yo, yo, question for me to you. See all your peers get you know, recognized and like awarded. Does that make you feel more inspired? Like when you see shit like that? That shit last night. Um, I mean, for me, bro, like you got to remember, like, I don't really go too much shit, you feel me? But I always feel like I'm I'm somebody that's in the running, and what that does for me when I get to see like people of 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 like you know my peers and people that I feel like you know they make up music, it just makes me feel like I right, bet like I'm I'm about to come through crazy, you know what I'm saying? And when I do come, you know what I mean? Like this year, for instance, I have so much shit loaded up that shit just inspired me to just like just to just drop shit rapidly, like. Fuck all the extra shit. It's just, it's about great music. It's about it's about positivity. It's about good music. You feel me? And that's why I'm on some like I'm about to just start putting wild shit out, wild music, and just coming with videos, coming crazy, and just knocking niggas over the head. Like niggas not even gonna be able to be keep up because I'm gonna have too much. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey now I feel you on the hey, yo, And what was your overall thoughts in the award show last night? Because I seen you tweeted before. I thought you was about getting some Kanye shit. You said it's nah, 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 nah. nah. You said so and so don't win so and so, man. Some shit gotta go. Come on. You agreed with all the awards last night, or do you feel like I didn't? I didn't really stuff? see everything. I just seen a bunch of people getting awards, and like there's a lot of people that I know and I've seen before, and you know I've shook hands with and chill with, smoke with. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, like this is lit. Niggas is real. Like niggas of my color, niggas of my peer group, niggas of hip hop, niggas of uh, you know R and B. That you know. I do the same lane of music uh, with is like they get in the war. So it, it it makes it it makes it in a for me it makes it makes me feel like you know like everything's gonna be lit this year because I know what I have in the stash and I know what people won off of last year and it's like cool that's good. I, I, I think you're starting to legwork that next year uh, you should be one of the centerpieces in terms of vocal. For artists being focused on for the Grammys, you know what I mean? Like, you, you know, like it's only so long they can, you know. And not that you've never been um, acknowledged before, because again, you work with a lot of people who have been awarded this and third. But you know, like you specifically for your shit, you feel me? Like, are you thinking well, next year's a year? Like that you could possibly I, see yourself I think, getting a I, best nah, I just genu rap I album? Genuinely think, I genuinely think by like the end of this year, nigga, it's just too much for niggas. It's, it's just. It's just too much, you feel me? Like, and that's why I feel like a lot of these niggas is like upset and they want to do the most because niggas don't, niggas is upset that I do both. Like, niggas is mad that I'm able to come and rap and come through and, get, and then come over here and sing and serenade the women. Like, niggas, niggas don't like that, you feel me? They don't like the fact that I'm able to maneuver so well and so agile between those two, you feel me? Hey, you know what's funny? In the midst of you, you doing all this shit, talking about you the best, like, yo, the best rapper, this and third. Yo, I'm up for whatever reason at 6 a.m., and I see you on live, and I'm like, why is this nigga Tori on live? Is he premiering another diss song? But you were on there pretty much working on a chick tape, and I'm like, damn, where you get the motherfucking energy to perform, moving around? Shit, you going back and forth with another nigga. You on live the next second, and then you still working on other music, not related to any controversy, any type of whatever. You're just still doing you. How you get all that time, bro? Nigga, I don't know fucking. I left the studio last night at 5 a.m. I had an audition for like this big ass movie. I just came from. Remember, I'm in LA. So, you know, I just came from that shit. It was at what, 10? Yeah. At 10 a.m. I'm back in the studio. I don't really go to sleep. It's just like I'm. You see my eyes, nigga. I ain't, I ain't sleep. <laughs> you shit, know what I'm well, 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 stay up in case J.I.D. drop a diss on your ass, okay? I'm not you know worried I mean? about no niggas. I'm not worried <laughs> about no niggas dropping no diss records. I think niggas have a, a misperception of me when it comes to diss records and what the fuck is, like, really going on here. And You said you wanted on smoke, Tori. Nah, but listen, what you got to understand is this, dog. It's an understanding of smoke in the, in the right arena. 
Like, let's be real here, dog. What you mean? Go ahead. That's like saying that Jimmy from the block, who has zero followers, zero relevance, I'm going to go just battle this nigga. Why? Why? Oh, all right, dude, I feel that. I feel that. But all right, all right, all right. Let, let, let's talk about it. It does me no good. You feel me? Like, you got to remember, like, for instance, in both of the battles that I've been in, Don Q, joining Lucas, in both of those battles, bro, you got to look at it this, from this standpoint. Number one, I said some shit about joining Lucas. That was my opinion. He said, all right, boom, let's call, let's call it a thing, and let's do this if you're about it, Tori. I said, cool. So me and him, we did our thing. Don Q, I didn't say nothing to Don Q. Actually, I just, all I said was a statement. I'm the best rapper alive right now. I'll body any of these niggas. And that's how I feel if I go head to head with the niggas that I, period, that, that they say that I can and this, that, and the third, and wazzy, blazy, blazy, blah. And that's how I feel. But at the same time, I think niggas have a misconception of what that means. That doesn't mean that every time niggas see each other, we got a fucking battle. We can get on the yeah. same record. <laughs> no, listen, think about it. We no, no, but, but, but someone kind of paying you out to be your, your Tory the battle nigga. When I see him, I have to give him some bars in person. No, but, <laughs> and I feel that, and I feel that. And, and what's crazy is, like, y'all still got to remember, like, as much as niggas want to be like, yo, this nigga can't rap and da-da-da-da, you got all of the niggas who all they do is battle and da-da-da-da, writing diss records and all this shit against me. And, I, and I'm supposedly not supposed to be this nigga who's, you know, rapping or whatever cases, or this, that, and the third, or blah, 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 whatever niggas think. But what niggas gotta understand is even, like I was saying, even with the Don Q situation, Don Q was like, nigga, no way, you not, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And I was like, all right, cool. Let's let's do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you a shot because these, Don Q's somebody I know, number one. And I, and I always felt like, regardless, in NYC, that's somebody that's well-respected as far as when it comes to lyrics, lyrics and things like that of that nature. And I never ever take away from Don Q because I love when Don Q rap. So to me, it was like, I'm still going toe to toe with somebody I listen to somebody who I, you know what I'm saying, make music, well, you know, I, I, I've been in situations about to make music with, I make music with Boogie all the time, so it, it wasn't really one of those things, and even throughout the whole thing, me and Don Q never took no offense to each other, it was never one of those situations, it was, it was never, it was never that, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah. actually, well, uh, a couple, couple lines here and there, you went hard, nah, but lines you went lines hard. lines, rap battle is a rap battle, I'm allowed to say anything I'm, I'm allowed to say, just like you're allowed to say anything. You're allowed, you're allowed to say. You can say whatever you want to say. It doesn't really actually matter. At the end of the day, it's supposed to sound uh, mean and however you put it, it's supposed to sound like that. It's not supposed to be like, nigga, you know, yo, this is my man's, but yo, check this out. Nah, nigga, it's supposed to be as mean as it is. This is a battle. If we came in the middle of the street and battled each other, that it would have to be mean for niggas to go, ooh, and ah. Uh, uh, niggas going crazy, right? So at the end of the yo, day, I ain't, I, yo, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, yo, yo, you, yo, you got the whole Starless hot with that man. Yo, the whole health board had to go down there and give everybody STD checks, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> It's like me telling this nigga, nigga, say sorry, da 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 right? And the misconception of it is niggas think that somehow this guy dissed me on a record and I was upset about a record and pulled up on him and it was the same situation as the Joyner Lucas and the Don Q. I, I hold on, <laughs> we talk we talk about the Dax situation. All right, all right. Wait, wait, hold on. Before we get to that, before we get to that, I, I, wait, yo, 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 what happened when you were Dream Doll, man? Dream Doll dropped a hard record about it. Y'all cool, right? At the end of the day, the record was hard. She didn't write it, but the record was hard. You know what I'm saying? Whether or not the, the, the whatever she's saying is true or false, because the whole thing is false, my nigga. The only thing, the only facts between us is I whopped you up twice. That's the bottom of it, my nigga. It was, that's it. I, yeah, yeah, I was this, like, I know Tori ain't asking on three some with a nigga. But I, but, I, but I like it. I like the creativity, dog. I even went under the, the shit, I like and I was like, yo, fire. You feel me? That's my junior, my nigga. I ain't say that worried about. Come on, my nigga. That's like you. That's like that's like you doing something with somebody two times, and then they have a whole book of things and and like this whole false timeline of things that y'all have actually done. It's like, what are you talking about? Fuck well, it's not funny. 
I, 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 it, was, it was dope, though. It was cool. All right, was let's cool. move past that. The situation that I posted a video, like, I, it came up on your Twitter. I reposted it. It's the situation. There was a guy named Dax. Um, he dissed you. He posted a picture of you DMing him. I guess you reached out probably like, yo, listen, man, I'm not on that type of time. You Listen, I hope you have a good career. I don't really know you. Um, that I'm not on that type of time. He drops this song basically saying he's not Joyner or Don Q. And it looks like the next thing we see is him apologize, or you demanded that he apologize hey, boom, while he's kicking in the suburban. Real quick, let's take this back. Give, give me the when timeline. You, I like how you give me the timeline. I always give the timeline, and this is like the this is the last irrelevant situation I'm, we're ever going to talk about. Act. No more, no more relevant niggas after this. No more beefing with irrelevant niggas. No more battling. Yo, around. Sorry, you know, I felt bad for homie. Hold on. No more beefing with irrelevant niggas. No more negativity after this. We're going to get to the bottom of this, and we're going to leave this shit alone. All right. Boom. I don't know this nigga. Never heard him rap. I don't, I don't even know he's a rapper. I don't, I don't know anything about this guy. I don't know. I get... You know how sometimes you're in your DM and you get mentions? You see the mentions yeah. that you get mentioned in. So I'm just randomly just checking some shit. I just clicked it. I see this nigga saying a bunch of wild shit. I'm gonna kill this nigga Tory Lanez. I'm da 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 da. But I don't know he's. I don't even know what he's talking about. Ah, right, so I'm like, all right, cool. So I mentioned him. I messaged him. I said, I looked at his page, realized he's a rapper. I said, oh, this nigga's, it's kind of dope, man. You know what I'm saying? I messaged him and I said, listen, bro. Because the same, the same morning that this shit happened, some shit was going on with my son. So I was not in the mood for none of this. Like I wasn't. Mm. It's not about rapping a competition. This is human to human here. Something's going on with my son. My son is about. A year older, it's like I mean, a year and some change. So I, I, I hit this nigga. I'm just, and this is just, it's not the day for this. So I'm like, yo, I don't know you, bro. I don't know what you do. You feel me? Mind you, I don't know that he's really like you. From I just realized he's a rapper. I don't even, I'm not familiar with him. I've never heard of him. It's cool. That's fine. I said, yo, bro, I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? This and third, I don't even know why I even did this because normally I don't really give a fuck about this, but then. Uh, you know, I, I felt like, yo, you know, let me just, just hit this nigga in the DM, just explain something to him, you know what I'm saying? Hit the nigga, yeah. I say, yo, bro, you know, I, I'm not in the mood for this, like, yo, I don't know you, I don't know what your tactic is, bro, but, you know what I'm saying? I just, bro, just, you do you, and let me do me, because I'm not in the mood for none of this, and at the end of the day, just leave it alone, bro, because not everything is going to end up in a rap battle. Not everything is going to be one of those situations. It's not going to, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes niggas is going through family shit, and it's just not about whatever you're talking about. Not to say that we can't do this another time. Never to say that we can't do this another time. We could always do this another time. Okay. Okay. Boom. So now, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, hold on. Now, then you take the time to go out and post this shit to the world, right? You got a bunch of niggas at me this at a third. So now I'm looking at this nigga like, dang you. I just, I lowered my my level, humbled myself just for a second to talk to you on a man-to-man -man tip. Fuck the fact that we both rap. On a man-to-man -man tip, bro, I'm not even in the mood for this, my nigga. I ain't, I ain't tell you what's going on, but I'm not in the mood for this, bro. And you gonna go post my DM like I'm some bitch, nigga? Like, what, what, what? Not even on, like, not even on no, like, you're a bitch, nigga. Like, on some, like, yo, you don't respect me as a man, like, as I'm telling you something. So I DM'd him again. And I said, oh, listen, bro. Because he didn't post that. So I DM'd him again, and I said, listen, bro, you really going to take my DM, dog, when I'm telling you something and I'm humbling myself and coming to you and telling you something, and you going to just take my DM, my nigga, and you're just not going to post it to the world like it's uh, whatever. All right, cool. So at that point, do you think, do you, at that point, were you thinking, like, this thing is just clout chasing? Nah, I, I didn't know what it was. I was just like, all right, whatever. It is what it is. I'm not going to, it is what it is. Boom. I said, keep going, bro. Next day, bunch of niggas telling me, oh, this nigga dropped a diss record. I never heard the record. I didn't even care about the diss record. My thing was, it's just like, dog, you didn't have, like, just the respect for us as two human beings having a conversation. And we could do this rap shit at any other time, my nigga, any other time. Maybe when you get a little bit bigger and you gain a little bit more thing and it's, like, more of an awe thing to the people, like, we can do that, bro. That's fine. Like I've never have had had an issue. We could either go on the same record, 
if you're popping enough or fucking we could battle it out if that's really where it has to go. You know what I'm saying? When it came down to Don Q and Jordan Lucas, these were niggas that it was said from both people, yo, let's do this. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Let's battle. That's what it was about. You, I told you, listen, my nigga, at the end of the day, leave it alone for a second. Even if you even if you drop the battle, I don't care. That wasn't really what I... Drop the disc, I don't care. Drop the disc. Everyone's dropping discs. I don't care. But at the end of the day, don't drop my damn DM, nigga, and have me out here looking like I'm a fucking square and... Like, a dog, I'm a human being at the end of the fucking day, my nigga. Period. Like, as much as great as I am about music and as much as I feel like I'm the best rapper alive, still a fucking human being. So at the end of the day, if I'm telling you something just as a man to man, fuck all the rap shit, dog. I'm telling you something as a man, nigga. Just leave it alone, bro. This is not in the mood for this. Now, whatever you do, what you do, you do what you do. I randomly see this nigga. This whole, like, yo, niggas jumped him and da-da. We didn't do nothing to this nigga. I randomly seen this nigga start running down the street. Da -da -da -da. Nah, he was out of breath, though. He was out of breath, man. Yeah, he looked listen, like listen, he listen, 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 I seen this nigga. And they started running down the street. I, 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 I run down the street. So the, we in the car. So I don't know how far you're going to run. So I'm like, oh, this nigga. Boom. So we stop by this nigga. I'm just like, bro. So it was like an episode. Nigga, <laughs> we pull up to the nigga. He's out of breath, bro. I'm just like, bro. Just apologize, bro. And the fucking thing about it was, is it wasn't even about the disc record. I, Wait, I never as soon as he sees record. you, Listen, he runs? Oh, as soon as he sees me, I say, yo, bro. He see me. I think the nigga started dashing. <laughs> oh, now Listen. <laughs> The race. I wasn't even gonna. I wasn't gonna do nothing to him. He doesn't understand. I wasn't gonna do nothing to him. It's the it's the us driving down the street trying to follow this nigga that had us tight. So now I'm like, yo, bro, pull up to the side, like, yo, my nigga, ah, 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 whatever we say to the nigga, whatever the case is, bro. He walks across the street, runs in traffic, walks across the street, and realizes, like, my nigga, we're not gonna keep chasing you all day, my nigga, and you're not gonna keep fucking running away because it's not that deep, brother. Just say sorry. I just did that for my own for my own self because that's just how I felt. It was never a situation where I'm like, yo, I don't want to rap against you or da 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 da. Rap your ass off, my nigga. I don't care. Make a diss track, my nigga. But what was disrespectful was just the, I'm humbling myself and coming to you as a man and you're taking my DM and posting it to the world. And it's, that's just the disrespectful thing. At the end of the day, we could have did far way more crazier things to you. But at the end of the day, I'm not like that, my nigga. I don't care about I, pulling up I, on a nigga. I get no points from pulling up on this nigga, bro. I don't, I don't even know him. I don't know what, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't, I don't know him. So at the end of the day, I don't, I don't get no points from pulling up on this nigga. I don't get no stripe on my block. It's not no, it's not no, you don't win from pulling up on this guy. It's not like, I think niggas think getting it twisted thinking I, I, I some house and way niggas think we're like tough guys. It's, it's,